So boom! See, 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 see! Y'all, they be in the outside. Y'all, like, where this nigga at? But we in the park with it, you know what I'm saying? We vibing in the park with it, you know what I'm saying? I'ma hit y'all with this reaction. I got some fast shit coming for y'all boys, though. No cap, no cap. I'ma hit y'all with this reaction, though, to GTA 6. Bruh, y'all know I don't do gaming on this channel too, too much. Like, my first rerun, I was gaming. This rerun, I'm not really gaming like that. I'ma let y'all know right now. We gonna be gaming on this GTA 6 shit. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. This nigga by the name of Inter, Inter, I don't know. I'm gonna leave his link to his video in the description below. He got this shit called 50 Things You Missed in GTA 6. You finna see what all we missing in this little trailer. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. We gonna see what this trailer be about. I ain't really too much watch the trailer. I seen like little clips and scenes in that bit. Cause that bit was going viral. So I was like, you know what? I ain't even gonna react to the trailer. I'm gonna react to 50 things I missed in that bitch. Even though I ain't even watched it yet to miss it. So when I do watch it, you feel me? I'm ahead of the curve. So boom, we finna get straight into the bit. You know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. Let's start with Lucia's backstory clue. In a scene showing Lucia, the female protagonist, in jail, we can spot a photo under the bed. Oh, they got a, a hoe? Oh, nah. They playing... Oh, we playing as a hoe. I mean, we playing as a female. <laughs> As a female. Lucia with her family. This small detail might hint at her backstory and personal connections, but also in the official GTA 6 artwork, Lucia is shown wearing an ankle monitor on her left leg. This detail suggests possible story and gameplay implications, potentially limiting her movement within the game's map, probably not allowing her to leave the state of Leonida. Early in the trailer, there's a subtle nod to American culture, with a brand of beer called Patriot. This serves as an obvious reference to American patriotism, reflecting the series' penchant for satirizing real-life elements and attitudes. Now, but that's not the only reference. There will be many in the game. For example, the Eleven Nightclub reference. In one of the scenes, we can see a plane pulling an advert through the air above skyscrapers. The advert says 919-Y69 when you can 919, which seems to be a playful nod to Miami's Nightclub Eleven. One scene in the trailer highlights the impressive crowd density, with each NPC appearing uniquely different. You might have already- Bruh, what the fuck? But I ain't gonna lie, fam. Graphics done came a long ass way, bro. Dead eyes, bro. Like, this shit look motherfucking crazy, bro. Dead eyes, bro. I know y'all motherfuckers remember playing Saints Row, Assassin Creed and shit. See, y'all don't know about that one. Y'all just... Don't know about that Saints Row, that Assassin's Creed. Y'all don't know about that shit, bro. Get on that. Stay in tune. Already noticed how this guy is secretly taking photos of a woman and another man is a. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah applying sunscreen somewhere in the background. You can also notice the helicopters reminiscent of those in GTA 5 and GTA Online. Overall, the level of detail in this beach scene is nothing short of insane, really showcasing how advanced the game's graphics are going to be. In the same scene, you can notice the logo on the umbrella saying Soul Sisters. While this might just be a play on the words Soul Sisters, it could be a beachfront company that plays some part in the business landscape of Vice City. Businesses are due to be a focus of the game with many that can be robbed or purchased, much like the nightclubs in GTA 5. Oh, yeah. The trailer includes scenes parodying social media trends, such as TikTok and live- You go live? What? What? <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna be going on live, making these bitches, man, making these bitches so they pussy lip. I'm gonna go on live, making these bitches so they pussy lip. <laughs> what? What? Live streams, which mirror typical Florida behavior. These include humorous and exaggerated scenarios like sugar daddy antics, alligator removal from a swimming pool, and a woman twerking on top of a car. So streams, which mirror typical Florida behavior. These include humorous and exaggerated scenarios like sugar daddy antics, alligator removal from a swimming pool. Yeah.
that's weird. That's weird, like, that's weird. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> she thinking that half y'all hoes in real life anyway. So that's weird. I think that's weird. You let you let you let a bot bitch be thinking that you literally a bot bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pool and a woman twerking on top of a car so there will definitely be a lot happening in this game as far as i remember from the leaks gta 6 was supposed to have hundreds of miscellaneous world events and scenarios looking at the trailer now it seems we shouldn't have any doubts about this the number of random situations occurring in the trailer is hard to count in a nighttime scene where lucia is having fun in a convertible vehicle you can see a man in the car in front of them filming the situation rockstar really thought of everything and there's no denying that the graphics look outstanding i am really curious about how many vehicles will be in the game compared to GTA 5, which has 347 separate controllable vehicles. In the trailer, we see many cars that we had the opportunity to drive in GTA 5, but... I want that hair cap, man. They need to give me that hair cap, fucker. I'm talking about... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's not surprising. Both games take place in modern times, so I don't see a reason why many cars would not be repeated. However, there are still several new vehicles in the trailer. Starting with the largest, there will likely be drivable yachts. Besides that, in one of the scenes, you can see something resembling an Aventador, and in another, a car very similar to the Chrysler 3. That raw wave? What? What? They don't put raw wave in the bed? Uh, no. Cold December, lonely cold December. Cold December, lonely cold December. I need your heart each and every day. I take you, I fade. Let me, let me chill out, let me chill out, let me chill out. 300. One of the cars that is impossible not to notice in the trailer is the Cheetah, which has featured in virtually every entry since GTA 3. It's based on the iconic Ferrari Testarossa, and here it even has Cheetah as its license plate. Also, notice just to the right, there's a man sitting on the ground with an iguana on his shoulder. Iconic areas from Miami, such as Ocean Drive, have been faithfully recreated in the game, reflecting Rockstar's commitment to detail and authenticity in replicating real-world locations. It seems to me that this will probably be the most detailed and best recreated Florida in any game ever. I can't wait to check out the Ocean View Hotel. It'll be interesting to see if its interior resembles that from GTA Vice City in any way. In the same shot of the Vice City Strip, we can see Hotel Dixon in the background. This could be a loose link to Lawrence Murray Dixon, an architect in Miami who designed many of the area's Art Deco buildings, including hotels. Rockstar games have a habit of including cute details relating to their source inspirations. Besides, in the trailer, we see several nightclubs, which isn't a surprise given that each GTA has featured clubs to some degree beaches and coastal areas y'all little freaky out little jits but not be in the nightclubs get y'all get y'all little npc torque on don't do that don't do that your mama go whoop you don't do that will play a large role. It is based on Florida, after all. There's a view of the Everglades, which is bound to feature in some missions. A sign is shown on the freeway that points to the Vice City Airport. And when we see Lucia sitting on Jason's lap, it seems to be inside a motel room. Also, when we see the lady in her nightshirt armed with two axes, the comment with the video says it was taken in Hamlet, which is one of the counties of Vice City. Next up, the trailer showcases the Florida Keys, including an unfinished bridge, hinting at potential future map updates or areas of exploration. And in the same scene, we can see that the blimp, which was already one of the vehicles in GTA 5, is making a return. I really like the scene with body cam footage during a police raid, which somewhat reminds me of the game Unrecord. Per perhaps reviewing such recordings and interacting with them will be part of one of the missions. There are many more new animals than I expected. In one of the scenes, sea turtles can be spotted at the bottom of the sea. In the same scene, there are also dolphins and a shark. In others, you can see alligators, crocodiles, flamingos, ducks, and deer. The trailer can... I want me a pet flamingo, bro. Dead eyes, bro. I want me a pet flamingo, bro. 
No cap. Confirms the return of strip clubs in GTA 6 with a specific event called Make It Rain Mondays, evidenced by a stage piled with dollar bills. It also seems that vehicle mirrors will finally be functioning. I don't know if you remember how disappointing it was when Rockstar Games added ray tracing reflections to GTA 5 on consoles, but completely ignored the issue of mirrors. For people who like to play in first person mode, that feature is a must have, and it looks like it's finally becoming a reality. The song in the GTA 6 trailer is Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. Prior to its release, there was ongoing speculation in the community that the song in the trailer would be Genesis That's All, remixed by Mandalus, spurred by a tweet posted with the game's artwork. Rockstar included a sort of Easter egg in the trailer, as in one of the last scenes on a door you can see a what sticker saying like Petty Forever. <laughs> this is a tribute to the artist who died a few years ago. The characters in the game are shown with astonishing levels of detail, including a gang yeah. member who sports gold grills on his teeth and has visible acne scars. I have no idea how next-gen consoles will handle such a a level of what detail in such what? a huge and detailed world. In terms what? of details, Rockstar really pushes the boundaries. Just look at the power lines. They made it look so detailed and realistic. I'm pretty sure that this game will surprise us at every turn. And as we explore the Vice City map, we will constantly discover new incredible details that the developers at Rockstar have taken the to create. We know they have a knack for this, as you probably remember how realistically NPCs in RDR2 cut food on a plate, or workers on railroad tracks drove nails, and with each strike, you could see the nail going deeper. Perhaps the biggest surprise for me were the horse balls in RDR2. Taking the time to create these small details that most people wouldn't even think about is just crazy. And I know we shouldn't expect anything more than what we see in the trailer, but think about it. For example, in the case of GTA 5 or RDR2, the graphics were way better in the finished game Game than in the trailer. GTA 6 introduces a unique aspect of parodying social media, resembling platforms like Instagram Reels and TikTok. It's a mystery to me how much these platforms will be developed in the game and what roles they will play during casual gameplays. In the social media footage of the city staff pulling an alligator from a swimming pool, we can see the post comes from Official Poach. This company is an in-game company who work in the protection of animals and controlled hunting. This would make for a great line of side missions where you have to rescue animals from the hazards of humans. Much of the trailer shows chaos and carnage, things that have become synonymous with Florida. We're all so used to seeing the term Florida man on social media that even Floridians see the funny side of things. Usually this reference accompanies footage of a man like in Florida dissing. doing something dangerous, dumb, or both. I feel like they dissing. I feel like they dissing. Why y'all dissing? Why y'all dissing? Both. In previous iterations, GTA games have been known for their satirical take on different societal themes. For instance, GTA 4's narrative revolved around the pursuit of the American dream, exploring the contrasts and sometimes the disillusionment associated with this ideal. GTA 5, on the other hand, delved into the American reality, focusing on economic disparities, the pursuit of wealth, and the dark underbelly of modern American society. With GTA 6, the focus right. on social media parody could suggest a thematic <laughs> no way, exploration of our social media obsessed society. The global view of the culture of Florida can be seen throughout the trailer, but we can find a lot of clips seemingly directly lifted from real life events. One of them is a clear reference to the Florida Joker, a tattoo model who went viral on the internet in 2017 after his arrest mugshot revealed facial tattoos and neon green hair. But there's more. Fans have compared the woman dual wielding hammers in the trailer. People like that make our city look bad, bro. Like, fuck you got all that shit on your face for. Like, what the fuck, nigga? You ain't even no nigga, but what the fuck, nigga? to an image taken of a real-life woman doing the same. Although she's from Los Angeles, not Miami, the trailer contains multiple shots of alligators sniffing around buildings, as we often see them do in real-life Florida. Other shots look inspired by local... I'm gonna get me a pet gator, bro. Local news broadcast that reported on the weird and wonderful goings on in the state. The shot of the naked man watering his garden looks like a riff on 2018 news reports about a Florida man who did yard work naked. And yes, the clip of the woman twerking on top of a moving car seems similarly inspired. Yeah. Yeah. Hello by real-world events. Satire is something that comes up in GTA constantly. This is seen on this billboard for a mental health medication called Angstipan. Apparently, it cures emotions, perhaps by deadening them like Prozac, which this is obviously APing. Just remember to call your doctor if your erection lasts longer than four hours. But they didn't put a blue chew in there, bitch. Oh my God, like, so what, our dick finna get hard in the game? Like, oh my God.
You be fucking shit in this game. I swear to God. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. I'm talking about all that. The fake beverage piss washer is back, and this time it appears there will be a non-alcoholic alternative available, named Piss Wasser 9. Towards the end of the trailer, we get confirmation that GTA 6 does feature Port Gellhorn, which has been a rumored smaller map joined to Vice City via a causeway. While this is only a fleeting glance, it's another area we'll be able to explore, and one that is still pretty densely populated if the leaks are to be believed. This is definitely not the end, as there are still a huge number of details to uncover. So hit that subscribe button and the bell to be updated. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a great day, everyone. And no cap. This game is top tier. I'm going to be on this motherfucker every day. And y'all see this video too. So y'all know I'm going to be on this motherfucker every day. Y'all hold me to that shit. Ho ass niggas. But I ain't going to lie, bro. Rockstar did they shit with this one. Rockstar did they shit with this one, man. Y'all fuck with the video, man. Drop the little reaction video, you know what I'm saying? Got my opinion on the GTA 6 shit. Now y'all know I'm going to be playing that bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have better like, comment, and subscribe. G shit. Before I lick your titty, nigga. Think of the man, yo, sugar on my own. <laughs>